Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mouse key skill video on plotting the graph of a circle centred at the origin. Now remember the link between a line that you draw and the equation of that line. Basically this equation is a membership rule for whether points belong on the line. So if I had a particular x, y coordinate for a point, I can substitute the x and y into this equation, and if it obeys the equation, that is, it obeys the membership rule, then that point is on the line. So let's try and think of values of x and y that satisfy this equation, and then we'll think of an easier way to draw this kind of circle-based graph in general. Well, if I make x free, for example, if x was free, then free squared would be 9, and 9 plus what would be equal to 9? Well, y would have to be 0, wouldn't it? So that would work, because if x is 3, you have 3 squared plus 0 squared. That is indeed 9. So that will be a point on the line. So let's plot that. x is 3, y is 0. x is 3, y is 0 would be here. But there's other points we could also choose. If we had x is minus 3, minus 3 squared, well minus 3 times minus 3 is positive 9, and y would be 0 again. So if I sub in these values into this equation, again, that would be a point on the line. So we can plot minus 3, 0, which will be there. Now what about if we made x 0? If x was 0, then 0 squared is 0, plus what is 9? Well it would have to be plus 9. So if y squared is 9, that means that y could be 3, 0 squared plus 3 squared works. And then similarly to above, you could also have minus 3. So that would also work. So we've got a bunch of points, four points that we know on the line. So 0, 3 is here, and 0, minus 3 is here. Now, can you sort of guess what might happen between these points? What shape is this going to form? Well, the kind of giveaways in the title of this, it actually gives you a circle. So if you were to do it for lots of points in between and sort of try them in this equation, you're going to get a circle-type equation. Now, I'm not going to give you the full proof of why it's a circle in this video. But you're going to get a shape like this. Now, the easy way to sketch in general is that if you had the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, that's the general equation of a circle that's centred at the origin. So the centre of this circle would be 0, 0. And the radius of the circle would be r. So, whatever the number is on the right-hand side of the equation, the radius squared is that number. So, what squared gives you 9? Well, it's 3. 3 squared is 9, so r would be 3. And you can see, look, the radius of this circle, that's a distance of 3 in every direction. So, if I had, for example, x squared plus y squared equals 16, you just square root that 16 to get a radius of 4, and then you need to go through all the 4s. So 4, 4, minus 4, minus 4, etc.